Hi guys! Today I'm going to review the Black & Decker 5 cup coffee maker. I'll show you not only how to make coffee but also tea in this compact inexpensive little coffee maker. The Black & Decker is a basic coffee maker that does what it's supposed to do and it's under $20. It's really compact and takes up hardly any space on your countertop. The glass carafe holds 5 cups. This is the removable filter basket. You can use paper filters or a permanent basket filter. There's one red button to turn the unit on and off. There's no beep to let you know that the coffee is done brewing. This is the window to see how much water is filled in the tank. It's about 11 inches tall. As you can see, it's about as tall as this five pound bag of flour. It's very easy to clean. The basket comes out with ease and so does the glass carafe. I'll brew coffee and tea to show you how the machine works. Here are the two cups I use for coffee every morning. They hold about 12 ounces each. I fill water up to the three cups line to make my two cups of coffee. The three cup line in the carafe is about 16 ounces. For the coffee, I'm using three heaping tablespoons of ground coffee and three cups of water. Close the lid and turn the machine on. The three cups of coffee are done brewing after five minutes. The Black & Decker brews a medium strength cup of coffee. As you can see from the steam, the coffee is nice and hot and it is a medium strength brew. Next we're going to brew tea using black tea leaves. I'm also going to be adding some cinnamon, cloves and cardamom to make a spiced tea. Traditionally, Spiced tea is made with boiled water, milk, and spices all in one pot. I want to see if the tea made in the Black & Decker will have any flavor of the spices. Here is one cinnamon stick broken up, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and four cardamom pods. Open up the cardamom pods and you'll find these little black seeds. Grind the seeds to get the most flavor out of the cardamom. Spiced tea is usually made with half and half or milk. Heat up a quarter cup of half and half or a half a cup of whole milk. Use two and a half cups of water. Put two tablespoons of black tea into the filter and pour the hot half and half into the coffee pot. Turn the pot on and the tea should be ready in a few minutes. Add sugar to your liking. Spiced tea tastes really good sweet. You can see the rich orange color of the tea. I'm really impressed that this little inexpensive coffee maker makes a full strength cup of tea. Brewing tea this way saves me time by not having to wash another stainless steel pot and a strainer. The tea tastes really good. It has the full flavor of the tea leaves. It's hot, creamy, and sweet. As for the spices I added, I can taste the cloves and a bit of the cinnamon, but the cardamom flavor really doesn't come through. So I think it's best to make spice tea in a pot, but I would still continue to make a regular cup of black tea in the coffee maker. So you saw what this little machine can do. The Amazon link to this product is in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.